What's up folks? I want to do a quick video on some Klein electrical testers that I use on a pretty regular basis on my inspections. So let's check it out. All right, so first up, I want to go over the newest tool that I have in my tool bag. So recently I upgraded my pouches to the uh, Joey pouch by uh, Holstry. And when I did, I used to carry this uh, electrical tester here. This is the RT210. Uh, uh, it, it's got the GFCI function on it and everything. I used to carry this one all the time to do all of my electrical uh, testing throughout my homes. And then I finally, I picked up this one. Really, I only picked up this one really because it was larger. I had a larger pouch and it was easier to grab. And so this being a, a larger tester like this, it's the RT250. It's got a digital display on it. And so you turn it on and whenever you plug it in, it will tell you whether or not you have correct wiring or if you have an open ground and it also has the GFCI function on it the gray button works as a GFCI function on it and so it works the same way as the old one that I used to use except it's got a digital display and that looks really good in photos and it's easier for me to grab out of my tool bag because of the size of it now let's talk about some things that I don't like about this tool now while I do love it it is battery powered. And when I first got it, it only the battery only lasted about a week because I failed to turn it off all the time. There's probably some instructions inside the, the box for this thing that said that you need to turn it off. I figured it had an auto off feature and I wouldn't have to worry about it too much. But I had to manually make sure that I turn it off every time because the battery only lasted about a week. And so that was a little bit irritating and something I had to get used to. The, this one right here is just passive. And so I wasn't used to that at all. I would just plug it in and then it would work, right? Um, but this one, it went dead on me. And so I had to replace the battery a lot sooner than, than I thought I was gonna have to. Now, after I replaced the battery and got better about turning it off, I didn't have that problem anymore. But another problem that I seem to be having with this tool versus the uh, old uh, RT210 here, um, this one, uh, whenever you plug it in, it gives you an instant reading. But this one here, and it doesn't matter, if you plug it into one and then you take it to another one, instant reading every time. But this one kind of has to reset. So if I plug it in to one and then uh, hit the GFCI function and then move it over to the next one, it is usually blinking and it takes about five blinks or so before, about five seconds or so before it actually resets and will give me a reading on the next outlet. And so um, that's, it, it, there's a little bit of a time delay there. Uh, you get used to it and uh, I, I tend to like it just because of the digital display and I like uh, the way it looks in pictures and I like being able to grab this big tool out of my bag. But other than that, um, I mean, I, I, it's my go-to, I guess, maybe because of the size of my bag, but um, I, I haven't been all that impressed for those reasons. And uh, every once in a while, uh, I go ahead and pick up the, the little guy here. And when I do, I'm pretty refreshed by this thing. This thing works. Now, the one thing that, that about it that I don't really like is that, as you can see, you have to decipher the code that's on here. Now, I know this. Um, and I try to picture this whenever I have one that's say uh, in reverse polarity. I try to take a picture of it clear enough that you can actually read what's going on here so you can decipher what the lights actually mean. Where this one here just displays it out for you very plain and simple. This one you have to read a code. I don't really mind that so much, but uh, when it comes to explaining things in my report, uh, you know, the digital display is, is actually uh, far superior. So there's things I like and dislike about both of these. Obviously, the only thing I really dislike about this one is that it's small, um, but, uh, but the digital display, I mean, that does, that does make this a little bit superior, at least in some aspects. Now, why do I have this out? This is the RT-105. Why do I have this out? Uh, this one does not have a GFCI function, so it has a lot less function than both of these, but this is a necessary element on a lot of inspections. The reason why I use this tool, a lot of times I use this on floor outlets or some outlets that may be too deep. These tools are big and they're hard to get in small spaces, floor outlets especially. So if I open up some floor outlets, some of them are, are made pretty flush and, and close to where the cover plate is, but some of them are not. They're kind of deep. These tools won't fit in there. And so this one will. And those aren't GFCI protected, so I don't need to trip them. And so I stick this in there and it gives me a reading. It works exactly like this one here. Uh, the, the function is exactly the same. It's just missing the GFCI function, which I don't need uh, when I'm doing floor outlets and things. So I do carry this one around for tight spaces. And so, yeah, I use all three of these. I use them quite a bit. Uh, this one right now is the one I've been using the most. This one will be next. I use this one every now and again. So anyway, uh, moving on, uh, the next newest thing in my tool belt. Now, 
I have carried some version of this tool for quite some time, uh, but I recently upgraded to the Klein ET40, and this is a, a two, two, I use it for two, testing 240 volt circuits. And so basically, this thing is a two prong situation. It also has an on and off button, and then you stick it into say, you know, a, a two prong or a, a 240 outlet, like a dryer uh, receptacle or something like that, and then it gives you a reading as to whether or not uh, you actually have the proper voltage. Uh, it could it sometimes, you know, if it's wrong, it can tell you you've got, you know, 120 volts versus 240. Uh, but it's just a really quick tool to have on my belt. It felt, fits right in the pouch, and so I can have it any, there anytime I need it. Uh, and so it does a great job at that. And if, if, in fact, this doesn't work, or like the other option is a multimeter, right? And I do carry the MM300 Klein multimeter. I do not use this tool very often. Every once in a while I have to use this tool. Uh, maybe I want to you know, verify the voltage that's coming in. I know I had a tool similar to this that stopped working on me, and so I went and grabbed my multimeter. Very rarely do I use this tool, but I do like having it just in case I ever need it. It is there. Uh, and so, yeah, it's in, this goes in my big bag, obviously. I don't carry, I don't carry it on my pouch because I don't use it very often. This I carry on my pouch. This I carry on my pouch. These I have in my bag just in case I need them. But overall, these Klein tools are fantastic. They do a really good job. In terms of your electrical testers, I think Klein is the top of, uh, of the line. I don't really want anything else in terms of that. And so, yeah, I carry all these tools and, and I use them for different purposes, but uh, anyway, just wanted to go over that with you today. These are my electrical testers that I carry on my inspections. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll get some more tool videos out pretty soon. All right, Matt with Texas Edge Home Inspections. Catch you on the next one. Bye.